We're live. Welcome back. Uh, this is another Canva tutorial. Well, I say tutorial. It's it's more like a design along with me. I've got two thumbnails to do. Uh, you've just seen this one. You probably just clicked on this one. I've just made that one. I've got a video on my channel going up on this channel uh, going up about two things uh, which help me go viral on TikTok. So I'm going to do a thumbnail for that. I'm going to export a, a shot from Final Cut Pro to use and just talk you through the process really, and just follow along. And I've, my, if I've got time, I've got one to do for Robbie as well, the merch man. So that will be on Making Tea's channel. So potentially settle in, pour a cup of tea, and we'll do two thumbnails. Uh, let's have a look. Also, if you're watching, make sure you drop a like, whoever that is watching on YouTube. I can see we've got one. Uh, we're using Canva today. We've been, We've got 15 years of graphic design experience. Uh, on various softwares, all the professional softwares. I don't know why the camera is a bit, um, I don't know why the camera is a bit, it's like a blue almost. It's like maybe the light's hitting it, so I'll block out the light. Um, there's not much, there's not much I can do about that, apart from you go and tag Logitech and send them one of those streaming cams, which would be a lot better. Um, Yes, right, Canva. Uh, the video then is is literally showcasing these two products. Um, oh, uh, and it's it's kind of like the idea is is what I would invest if I had a hundred pounds to invest in TikTok um, or video creation for TikTok. What I would spend it on. Uh, so I've got the video here. I'll open up Final Cut Pro. You can see here, this is the video. Uh, so I've got lots of options for thumbnails. I've got my sort of very dramatic face, um, which looks a bit more tan than in this webcam. Uh, Sam Turton is here. Hope you're liking these design along, work along, whatever we're gonna call them, um, Sam. <laughs> there we go. So this is the preview of the next video that I'm, I'm gonna put out. Oh, that's a good one. That is a good one, isn't it? Right, so it's shown off these two these two products. I kind of need to include at least one of them. Um, that's quite good. What I want to do is kind of obviously they know this is a mic, a microphone. They're going to see that as a dead cat uh, microphone, and they're obviously that's like a tripod or, or a stand. So that's quite a good one as well. I want to find one that's not obvious to what it is because I've got these two things. It's only a short video. Um, Barna glasses, link below if you like my Barna glasses. It's only a really short video. So uh, I'm gonna, oh. I must be on that frame or something because it's kind of, where is that on from? Because I remember going, oh, this would make a good thumbnail. So actually, it it would be quite good fun if I there is if I made this as the fun thumbnail for the uh, thing because that's quite a good shot. That's quite a good or that one, that one. So what I can do is just zoom right into this, so I can really get to frame for frame. Um, you can see here. You have to pick a crispy. <laughs> I'm liking this one. Sorry about the noise. If you can hear the noise from from next door, doing some work. Yes. Okay. Well, I like that one. I just make sure it's sharp and crispy. Oh, what's happening there? See, I would go for that, but the reflection on the glasses is just a bit too low. So I'm going to go back to something like. Oh, see, I've just lost the perfect place now. So that one, that's quite. That says a lot. <laughs> Obviously, we're going to trick him into into what it is. So I'm going to save frame, call that 100 TikTok one, export that as a PNG export, and we're going to just do. Um, that one as well. So again, export the frame. It's a PNG. Always do it to PNG. And we're going to call this on number two. Right off to Canva we go. 
So this is the thumbnail you're looking at. I'm just going to create a new page in this document. If I was starting from scratch, I would go to I would go to home. I go create design, design, custom size, and I do. I've got a custom size stored there. You, you can hit thumbnails and everything like that. So um, let's go to here. I'm just going to, I could duplicate this one down. I'm just going to do a new page. So we've got a brand new page there and go to uploads. So that's that's the actual shot I used for this thumbnail. So I quickly exported that one there. Um, you can see here that my finger isn't quite right, but uh, Lordy, what's going on here? <laughs> We're doing a, uh, um, yeah, I'm doing a, I've got a video going up soon, uh, Alison, where I'm sort of showcasing what I would spend. If I had a hundred pounds to spend on TikTok or shorts video creation, what I would spend on. So I'm going to use these two things. This one's a tripod. Um, so I'm going to try and sort of, I don't know what really, I know I'll call it. In the video itself, I've said, um, you know, under 200 pounds. Uh, I'm just going to load those two to Canva. Under 200 pounds you know whatever like uh got 200 no my top top i don't know you know what i mean top tips for for something <laughs> if you've got 100 pounds to invest in tiktok where i'd spend where i would spend it um ah see that's a, that's a little bit annoying now because that's because i film in 30 frames per second that has got a little blurry and that is nice that's nice and sharp. Um, so what's going to be better? What's going to be better? Do I go back and find? Let's start off. Let's start off. Let's cut the background out and see what we've got here. I, I'm liking this one. I mean, you could, again, you could spend ages on this kind of stuff. Oh. I've kind of lost my eye there a little bit, haven't I? So let's just check that hasn't cut out something. So hit restore. So I've just done background eraser. It's only my eyelashes. Um, let's leave it. I know it might look a little bit strange. There's a little bit there I could take out, but let's leave it. It's all about speed. It's all about getting a good thumbnail without spending too much time on it um, and just getting the concept out of my head onto the screen. Uh, <laughs> so Pierre Alain, I, I, just to fill you in, I'm doing a, uh, I've got a video that's going, going up um, and it's all about these two, um, these two products. If I had £100 to spend on TikTok, where I'd spend it to improve my content. Um, I don't know whether it's going to be called that, but that's the kind of, that is the kind of idea. Excellent. I just I just spend £100 on a new video related gadget. I need to use it in anger and then I will probably show you. <laughs> oh, God. Um, sharp one since there's no glass glare. Glass glare. Yep. So that's the trouble with the barners. You can see here, um, not a lot you can do about that. And yeah, I think that's the trouble with the, the glare on the webcam. So at the moment, better potentially a better shot. We've got a blurry tripod there. So um yeah, I'm gonna stick with I'm gonna stick with this one. Let's stick with this one. Uh, right, okay. Let's, I, I have to make it a bit uh, smaller just quite, so I can sort of see it. It's very grey there compared to this one. Um, right, let's get... It's kind of gone low res. So I don't know if it's just because I'm streaming. I've never seen that before. Is it because I'm streaming? I've never... It's like a preview of it. Oh, it looks all right now. Looks all right now. I'm very grey. Uh, right, let's get the background in. Let's just trim that down. Sorry if you can hear the drilling. <laughs> um, so we're going to add that one back in. Yeah, no, it is crisp. It's just a little, must be a little preview. Maybe 
could do something like that. Hey, Dan Woods, I've just seen, uh, put the tube on the webcam like a lens hood. Put a tube on the lens. Yeah, good idea. That's a bit of paper. Is that going to work? It is. Gonna, it could probably, I could probably pull that in a bit as well. See that? That's... There we go, Pierre Alain with the tips. Pierre is great at tips and advice. So if you need any advice, we've got Pierre Alain and and Ali Pig in the chat, Alison. So two people with lots of great advice. And unlike me, you never preach advice. <laughs> Right, so I've just laid the, the cutout version over that one. And what we're going to do is go to... Uh, hello! Sorry about the noise again. I don't know if you can hear it. I've never seen these before. This is new. Usually we have... What do we have normally? Brightness, contrast, saturation, tint, blur, X process, vignette. Alison, warm. we don't have warmth normally. We don't have clarity. We don't have... These are all new. We had we'd never had fade, fade, definitely had blur. This this is exciting, isn't it? <laughs> Five people watching, and um whether it's just the functionality I've never turned on before, or <laughs> or I am one of the first users to live stream this new functionality from Canva. Um, let's have a play then, shall we? Let's have a play. Where's it gone? Oh, so uh, <laughs> adjust. Right, so vignette, yeah, vibrance. Okay. No, thank you. Highlights, this is brilliant because that, this is really good. Shadows. Before, I'd have to do fade. Before, I'd have to do clarity. <laughs> I'd just go for all of them. Clarity. This could be the video that blows up because they'll be like, who was the first person to get these things? I just, I just edited. I just literally edited that. And I think I tweaked myself. I don't know. Maybe I did. Maybe I tweaked myself. I did a filter on that one. So maybe, maybe I've been playing. Maybe I've just never seen them before. Who knows? Um... Right, well, well, we'll have a little play then. Get me lined up correctly. Uh, obviously, I'm going to blur the background here. Adjust, blur the background. I always, I always think this one's wrong. I always think that um, is it an electric cucumber? <laughs> I, me or Alison? Um, I always think I always go left to blur and and not to right. Um, so we don't want to blur it too much. We just want to, you can see I'm not quite lined up perfectly. Uh, right, okay. That's, um, I'm really excited about this. So I can add a bit of warmth with me. I've got to get the screens calibrated as well because what I've realized <laughs> is my screens are oversaturated. So when I do something that's, I think sat sat saturated, and then I go and check it. It's not saturated whatsoever. So like I, the Robbie, the Robin Scott thumbnail I did the other day, the live Twinkie one, I had to go and tweak that because it looked really washed out. So if I, so I have to just make it look oversaturated on my screen. Hopefully it will be better that I look a bit red faced. Um, what else have we got? I clarity. Oh, crikey. So I can age myself 10 years in, in two seconds there. Okay. Thing is, with YouTube thumbnails, you do have to make them pop a bit more than you would normally. So um, I'm trying to look at... Uh, let's do that, right? It's not showing off my skin in very good light, but you know me, YouTube is very... Um, YouTube is very um, unforgiving anyway. So highlights. See, there's a few things in here. I mean, vibrance... There's a few things in here that actually <sighs> I've probably played about too much of it now. Actually, that 
I use in other software and I can now do that in Canva. <laughs> Imagine if I can darken, blur that a little bit more. Imagine if this has been here all the time and I haven't seen it yet. Um, but we have been contacted by Canva's, um, one of Canva's biggest competitors, um, Vizme, Vizme, and they've offered me a lifetime of free premium if I want to show, if I want to do some live stream. So um, obviously it's not paid content and it's just, so I might try it. It's more expensive than Canva, but they say their presentation, they've taken the best things from Canva and the best things from PowerPoint, which I'm not going to really use PowerPoint that much, obviously presentations and they put it together so what i thought would be quite good there are some videos like five hundred thousand views on this software visme i think it is if anyone's interested v-i-s-m-e uh, but um just got to think of a title uh, so, but i might do some live streams and just go professional canva user <laughs> I'm not, uses um, Visme for the first time and just try and do a thumbnail first time in it and just just go in, I was going to say dry then, but obviously with what's in my hand. Um, right, title is going to be, I don't really want to say if you've got £100 to invest in TikTok because I'm sure a lot of TikTokers haven't got £100 to invest in TikTok or YouTube Shorts. So I'm going to say in the video, in the video I say a lot about why I went viral with with that wind muff with that microphone and if I didn't have that microphone so if I didn't have the Patreon support I wouldn't have bought that microphone and I wouldn't have viral I wouldn't have filmed me getting on a bike well I would have filmed it I wouldn't have uploaded it because it's so windy it was so windy anyway with the with the microphone on um so there you go Patreons I wouldn't have bought that. I wouldn't have bought this without you, this mic, the little Rode mic that plugs into your iPhone. <clears throat> so without that, I wouldn't have uploaded that that video to TikTok. I wouldn't have asked Bullet to film me getting on the bike, and I wouldn't have gone viral at that time. It could have been something else. I doubt it, but it could have been. Um, send backwards. So here you go. You can't. Re I mean, you're going to struggle to sort of see. I want that. I want that shape to pop. Um, but you're going to struggle to see um, best TikTok investment. It it is, yeah, yeah, best TikTok investment. Thing is, if I, I've got to think about the title because if I do title and do, um, if anyone else has an Apple Watch, do they sometimes use their nose to, to, <laughs> to do stuff? Oh God, it's time for another coffee in a minute. If I use that. Title Sam, which I might save that title for a different video. Um, viral tech. Because this one is about also about shorts. What I don't want people to, to click on is to not watch it because it says TikTok. But then I should niche it down a bit. Um viral tech. Tech to tech. Tech to What about like tech that helped me, tech to help you go viral? It's just two things I'm talking about. Well, I did. Oh my God. Coffee in a minute. Oh no, best TikTok <laughs> investment tech. Trouble is with the investment thing, investment is huge on TikTok, as in investments, as you might you might know, Sam, on stuff. I don't. If I could, if I could use that for something else, I'll, I'll use it. But I, I'm just a bit worried that some people might think that, or YouTube might think it's about investments because investment content is absolutely popping off. Um, so what I'm going to do is tech. I'll sort this out in a sec. I'm just going to do. Um, tech to go to help go viral to tech to help
Um, uh, and also to help go viral. That's no guarantee. <laughs> Whiteboarding titles. What I need to do is is to give everyone time. I, what I do, I'll, I'll post one day. I'll post a video idea. I'll post the the general idea of the video, and I could probably share an unlisted link to the video. You guys then title it, and I'll create the thumbnail from the title. And we can have a chat like that. That'll be quite good. Tech to help you go. Here you go. Technically, I've mentioned again. I've mentioned YouTube Shorts. Um, I've mentioned YouTube Shorts. So, like, if I was just talking about TikTok as well, I would do this slightly different. But I kind of gone a bit on everything. So, what I want to do is kind of pull this over a little bit more to there. So I've got to do the background, but I, I need to take my arm out. So what I'm going to do is double click. Well, I'm going to get the background just a little bit better. That's the wrong way. That's one thing that once it is in the background, it's quite hard to, to trial and error. Oh, that's not right, is it? Bloody hell. Doesn't actually matter, does it, about that background? <sighs> He's got my ear there. Well, I could just bend me a bit towards that. Oh, what's going on here? Right, so I'm I'm a lot bigger in the background, so I need to bring the background in smaller. Something like that. There we go. We're getting there. We're getting there. But I, st I do want the room. I do want the room. There we go. Something like that. Now I'll just tweak that to that. That's, I mean, that's still not bloody right, is it? Oh, just... right. That's good enough. It's a five minute video. <laughs> so now I want to duplicate that. Copy, paste that, put that in the same space, if it will allow me. And then I'm going to run. Technically, I'm going to just break something. I'm going to run. Hey, hey, Robbie, we're probably looking at yours afterwards. Um, we're going to do the magic arrays because I just want to take my shoulder out here. I bet, Robbie, I bet you panicked when you saw this thumbnail and the last thing. <laughs> Oh, I'm not having that on my channel. Let's just take that out. Again, with this uh, eraser tool, little bits at a time. And then you can always undo lots of stuff. I don't know if my hand is in is in shot. We'll change the brush size and do that a little bit. Again, a bit rough, a bit rough, but I'm not too worried. And we're just going to hit done. So now I can bring this, bring forward, and again, bring forward. No, I'm on the wrong thing. Let's bring it to front and then send it back. So there you go. So that's what we want. We, um, <laughs> is that Nat's birthday present? <laughs> oh. Oh, put me under there. I shouldn't have done that. Out of interest, can you guys hear the drilling? And again, that just that little cut out of that shoulder where um, you can see there, it just makes the, it's just it's just layers, and um, which you have to kind of change your your thought with. Um, with Canva, because you, yeah, you can't do it as easy as some some things. Um, no, no, no. Cool. It is like, ah! so obviously it's been cut out by the noise cancellation. So help me go. 
I'm going to struggle to get this one again. Go, help me go. Again, just even that, even that just little tad over the go, it just helps people's eye pick it up what it is. Um, if I was starting again, I'd just do it like that, to be honest, but I've got too much. Uh, oh, I've lost all my... Um, That's annoying, that. So this little tool up here allows you to paste the settings over. So there's a little tip. Right, I think tech that helped me go viral, because um, I don't want people to think it's going to help them go viral. If, 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 like, there's someone today that's, like, commented on one of my things and it was just like we went into this big thing like going first of all it didn't help because uh she goes she goes um your tick your shorts aren't even funny and you've got more views than mine <laughs> so i uh yeah you can imagine you can imagine what happened then um oh and and said like i put more and and something like you don't even edit yours and you've got more views, and hers was a gaming one. And so, anyway, I um I sent him a nice essay, and just said, okay, "Don't judge." I quite like how that is. Uh, don't judge a book by its cover. That one took me seven sh seven at attempts uh, takes to do. It was one of the, it was the helmet one. You know, an hour of editing. Um, also, I've worked. I've uploaded to TikTok um, for the last year, over a year now, and um, it's only recently I've started to find some success with it. So, and then she, they, she's uploaded four shorts, which has got about a hundred views, and she's sort of going. So I, and then she's come back and said, "Oh, sorry, sorry, I, I sounded really rude. I didn't mean it. I'm just really disappointed. I'm thinking about deleting my YouTube account and stuff like that." I was just like going, "We've all been there." how much time do you spend on your YouTube channel a week? And it was something like t two and a half hours. So, um, yeah, I sort of filled her in of what I actually spend on time and sacrifices I've done. So that was quite funny. Yeah, I, yeah, could do. Trouble is... You could, I mean, you could, I could do it on the viral one. There is an effect on this one, viral, and I could make the text then black. Um, no, I can't. It's not going to stand out enough. Uh, I could use the pink and the blue. Let's do that. You can tweak these, they're quite good. So you can change like the direction and stuff. So let's change the direction, offset it a bit more, and then we'll space it out a little bit. Um, letter spacing. Just so it clears each other. Drag that in and then make it a little bit, a bit smaller. Because two hours more than me yeah that pops um it was just i just like that's not the way to like she's obviously peed off with youtube and thinks the algorithm hates her um i was just like well if you want me to show you a channel that hates that the algorithm hates you on uh check out com hunt tv <laughs> whoops I also gave her tips as well. I gave her. I I went into her shorts and I just sort of said, um, "Think about why people are going to watch this. Are they being entertained? Are they trying to learn something?" I I mean, there's no, there's nothing really. Um, this this isn't popping as much as I want to, but I, again, this is the trouble. I could go and spend how much time sort of messing around, but um, I'm just I'm just thinking if to put in the the elements TikTok and stuff like that. Just 
Cheers, Pierre and Anne. We'll see you soon, buddy. Thank you for the support on the well, all the comments and obviously the support on the uh, everything there. Let's go TikTok, shall we? I mean, um, I just want to see if it does work in black again. Yeah, the trouble is I put a shadow for the tool. If I, if I um I quite like it with the pink and the green and then it is not probably it's that shadow. Yeah, I could. Let's do it. This is this one thing which really gets on my noggin with this. And I'm sure it is for a reason. When I go to shadow, say so glow, it makes the you lose all of the tweaks you've made to the um, to the colouring and all the sizing, which is going to real big trouble in a minute for me. Um, blah. Again, it's on. It's a glow. So it's on my head, so it's that's. I could, again, it's getting to a little bit like a. Well, I mean, that's not quite right, but like. Do we like this? It's not very big for you guys, is it? Do we like where this is going? With the glow? I can tweak the glow, obviously. Obviously, my ear, I'll make myself a bit bigger. I, I quite like it. Come on, six people watching. It's either that or we go black and I'll I'll just do it on the thing. I think still then the black, that looks smarter. That does look smarter with the, with the black thing, but I still don't think it's popping that much. So I think that if we get it in the right shape and size, looking good. Get it in the right location. That's that. Um, oh, and then I just got to kind of make that again, and I just go adjust. And then because my screens are oversaturated, I need to make sure I'm oversaturated for my view. Um, And the shadows, highlights, and a bit of the clarity. Robbie, I've never noticed these um, settings before. It just makes me look old, but there we go. That's that. X process, blur, no blur, saturation, little smidge of contrast. There we go. Uh, Again, the more I'm doing on that, the more it's sort of going away from the uh, going away from the the black big thing in my head. But tech to help me go viral. That helped me go viral. I like that. Thank you for the help. I'm going to export that one now, and I'm going to go to select just that one. Down, download. Uh, I am going to just just smidge it up in uh, smidge it up. Is that a word? Uh, I am going to just. Continue editing. I'm going to go into um, Luminar AI. Great software, but to be honest, most of the stuff, most of the stuff you can do in um, in what's it called, Google Images or something like that. Uh, that. Here, I've lost you guys. Right, so Luminar, I'm just going to add that in. Add image, downloads, viral tech. And I'm just going to go, not going to touch any templates because sometimes, like, they're more, <clears throat> they're more. Do 
that and I'm going to put a vignette on it overall and it might just bring in that tech. There we go. I think that's good. You can go into to face and everything like that and make your face lighter. Actually, quite like that. That'll do. I'm happy with that. Let's download that. Let's export that to disk tech one. Okay, this is the video, which I won't just put public just yet, but you guys can go, you guys, uh, I hope you go viral on TikTok and YouTube Shorts. I'm just going to change the title to TikTok. Um, I'm going to put TikTok and Shorts. Uh, YouTube Shorts is in the YouTube Shorts. I will keep it as YouTube Shorts. Um, so that's the video. Let's upload the thing. Thanks for the help there, Sam and Robbie and anyone else. So there we go. Bit too much on the vignette at the top. I don't care. It should be a nice, good one. So what I've got to do there is, have I done tags? Haven't done tags yet. So I'll go and do my tags. I'll go and do my end screen. And that should be, that should be live, what, within? Well, I'll do Robbie's now. So Robbie has sent me a thumbnail to do um so again we could do it in a new thing but i'll just keep it in here we've got a new page and we will check robbie the merch man who's making teas in in the chat <clears throat> i'll just go into my email okay so not great for screen grabs not great screen grabs i forgot to for pose for a photo so i'm just going to copy image and I'm going to go into Canva and paste that one, copy image, paste that one. And you can see here they're uploading. And once they're uploading, I can have a play. Right. So let me just get the gist of what's going on for this thumbnail. I couldn't do what I wanted in Cave, Canva, kept deleting a layer. Okay. So you are oiling. Let's just go to your page. See what Robbie's saying. Not great. <clears throat> so the thumbnail oiling an embroidering machine. Robbie, is this a real popular embroidery machine? I guess if it's brother, then it will be a good one. I can't remember what you were calling it. Canamva or something the other day. It's quite... I'm thinking we want to get the brother logo on there as well, if if that's super important to this kind of stuff. So I'm just having a bit of research. I'm just looking what other people are doing, looking at their views. Obviously, I put in a very direct um, thing there, a title. Obviously, we've got vid IQ and everything up here, um, overall score. Uh, we can go into that. This isn't about that. Um, interesting, 52K views. 7,000 views threading. 97,000 views. That's from Brother So's USA. Um, I, mean, I mean, so straight away, I'm sort of just having a an overview i'm just sort of soaking it all in i'm looking at the stats i'm looking at the, the views i'm looking at the logos i'm looking at what what works well uh, Rob, rob's done this video that's very niched within a niche here because you need to own obviously a brother machine but then you will get other other embroidery machine owners i'm sure just just look, check it up as well um just looking so i'm looking at the colors i'm looking if anything pops this is obviously this is obviously good but it's not good for what we want um so brother's probably important there. Um, again, friendly face here, but only only 314 views. Shocked face, not a great thumbnail, like 52,000 views, fantastic. But 
I think I can improve that click through rate if uh, if if that's the case. Um, Thirty one thousand views, just like you know, very simple, um, very simple here on on the right hand side. Obviously, from Brother Direct, so they probably embed that into into certain places, but um, doesn't need a lot. Right? Okay. Okay, so I've kind of got a good overview there. What colors are popping and working for that? Um, that's actually not a bad shot there, but obviously we're, uh, these are the automated thumbnails that, that YouTube suggest, um, but they all are always marked as low res then. They're not, they don't pop as, as well. Um, but, but always use this as a bit of inspiration. So, so behind the comments sometimes I'll check which one, which one YouTube suggests and I'll, I'll, potentially go and find that one to then export from my from my file from my editing software right so for this one because it is going to be it is going to be a lot of i assume robbie um yeah straight into it I'm liking that, Rob, even just, obviously I can't hear it, but um, liking the angles, straight into the action almost, 16 seconds for 30. We need to get that B-roll, but then you have got the, the machine in the background, so that's always good. Um, Robbie, this is just about oil in it, is it? Obviously, I'm going to go and pinch uh, like the brother logo, the speed um, and stuff from from Google Images. Obviously, you shouldn't do that. That's that's not a good thing. But you know, most of the time, you look at some of this rubbish that's on um, that's on YouTube and stuff, and uh, I'm sure they're not going to worry too much about Rob. No, a bit of clean and basic threading. Right, I'm just going to run the effects on this one just to see what it's like. Um, the 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 background remover. Oh, it's taken Rob out completely. And again for this one. So I, I run the effect now, uh, background remover. Okay, that's, pro that's probably quite good as what we want. I'm going to dump this into the background. Again, crop this into wherever it's cut out and just, just adjust it so it's there or thereabouts. And we can obviously go into the background. We've got the these new fantastic adjust tools, which I've only just seen. And we don't want to we don't want to like lower it like that. It it's hard to tell what it is. So what we'll do is we'll just sort of I'm looking at it on the, the streaming software just because it's a bit smaller and I can sort of then get a good view of how much my eye wants to defocus. Um so something like that. We might we might tweak it as well uh for this one, obviously. And lower the vibrance of kind of these new tools so i kind of want to play with these again we don't want to take the eye too much away i'm going to lower the shadows actually to make the main thing pop and take that take that down as well the highlights uh vignette i'm going to whack up the vignette on this one because i'm going to bring in the logo down here potentially and that and then we're just going to tweak this one i'm going to bring the brightness up slightly Bring the contrast up very slightly. Again, only just subtle changes here. Um, no vignette because that would look like that. You don't want that. Um, warmth, cl clarity. I might bring the clarity up. Again, these, yeah, 
that's quite interesting for, for seeing the small details in the middle. But you are getting Robbie's hand aged aged 89 there. So you can see there, I don't really want that because my eyes go into that. Um, so we can do that, bring up the vibrance a bit there. Whack up the highlights. You see the shadow there is just bringing out the metal a bit more. So that's good, even though it's making your hand a little bit more photoshopped in. Again, not worried about that. And that should, I'm going to whack up the contrast a touch more. And we're going to get the Brother logo in. So the Brother logo that I found here, um, you could just copy this, go into Canva. Again, you shouldn't technically do this, uh, but lots of people do. I was just thinking, so what I was thinking, if... I could take out at your side and I could put a element under this and potentially make that uh, make that pop a little bit more, that sort of uh, in the middle. Sorry, I'm just babbling away here talking. I'm probably not um, probably not describing what I'm thinking very well. When you're in the design mode, it's... Uh, thinking that that change that to then blue we could do two things here we could try and trick between me and you we could try and trick people to think this is a real brother <laughs> uh, video where they could um get some get some information out of it uh or we could make sure people know it's not by sort of maybe including robbie back in um Or what we could do is put the logo up there if it was uh, brother. But this, even this blue, people know it's brother. Um, something different, isn't it? It's something different. So I'm going to put. The, uh, let's go with this. All right, we might we might get in trouble. Robbie might have his channel deleted, all right? But at the end of the day, I've got the logo. I've got enough safe space around the logo. Uh, I'm not like some of those other ones which just dumping it in willy-nilly. I mean, that is just like they would hate that. Um, and again, here, you, I mean, that's stretched. I can tell that's stretched already. And you wouldn't put a gray. You wouldn't put like a like a like an outline and, a, and a, a fade on their actual logo that shouldn't be touched. So, um even if they did see this, I'm sure they'll go, they've used it pretty well. Um, also, it's promoting their products. I'm just going to grab this for speed and go up here, grab this text and put, um, again, I'll probably change the font, uh, but we will call it whatever the, just seeing about the titles of these, 7K, 8K, uh, 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 52. Uh, Rob, if you hold down the option key when you click and drag, you can just cop make a copy. That's quite a nice little tip there. Robbie, so if we called this, I would want to get some sewing things in there. So um, if we called this, like, cleaning. So he's put cleaning tips. Would cleaning tips be, um, be wrong? Would you be a bit disappointed if it was cleaning tips or would you put um, basic threading?
Right, okay. Uh, originally, it was just going to do oil in, but I kept filming. Keep filming, Rod. Just keep filming. This is where... holding down the right buttons to select both but I just can't quite get it uh mm -mm. I know I do drag that a bit bigger just give me a little bit more of an overlap to need some overclock looking cotton reels multicolored yeah so that's the idea what I want to go down down here if it is talking about threading not just oiling um I mean, we've got the title as well. Um, so, trouble is going to find an image like that. That's where we might get in trouble. That's where I, I, what I was thinking I might. There we go. Group, group those. Uh, again, this kind of stuff is all about layers for thumbnails. So then we can bring that to the front. So you can see like, we're just going over the tips there. And then this tips is just going over the blue there. Um, and I might just change, I might change this font. Uh, but again, we haven't got much time. So um, let's, let's leave it in Anton. A bit smaller, a bit smaller. I mean, I'm not too worried if people don't read that. I know we shouldn't load up thumbnails with too much, um, but I'm not. As I say, I'm not too worried. And then the cotton reels is what I want down here. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, it's not going to let me cut those cotton reels out. That's for sure. Rob, do you want to email me a photo over some cotton reels <laughs> on the machine? Again, you shouldn't really obviously go and pinch photos, but I'll just like... And this isn't what I was imagining. Um, oh. Skin looks so bad there. I should have tried to clean that. I just want sort of like three, like, like that almost. I, it's like you know, I could, uh, what I'd do. This is 
uh, like stealing from brother. At least we'd be stealing from brother and not someone else's um, not someone else's sort of thing there. Fingers crossed now, background and razor. Here we go. What are we thinking? Yes, it's going to work or not? Sam has just sent me an image. Yeah. Robbie's just emailed me an image. Ah, nice one. Yeah, I like that, Sam. Um, as Rob sent those, I think we'll, we'll play it safe and do that. Well, what what we, that is cut out that beautifully, isn't it? Because what happens down here, you have the time. Um, you have the time over the video uh, of the video, so you don't really want to put anything um, anything down there that's. My fault because I didn't press done on the background eraser. I'm just going to try these and then I'm going to use Robbie's. Robbie's a taller. I don't know if that makes a difference for this. Um, again, there's a little bit down there. I'm not that worried. No offense, Rob. But but even just that, just like a little bit of. Uh... I'm going to make them pop a bit. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice as well. It's uh, maybe it's too much live streaming. What I like about this yellow is like it obviously con it obviously uh, it's similar to this yellow. Sort of just it's that kind of creates a little bit of synergy between the whole the whole eye. Obviously, it's it's quite a dragging my eye down there, and it's obviously taking it a bit more off off that. Um, Yeah, I think yours, Rob, are quite, they're quite tall. So what will happen is that we'll cover up too much. We can still like cut it to that. That, that one is quite good, isn't it? This is why I always duplicate stuff. Because I can easily go back to it. See, I like that orange one as well. That blue one's going to be a bit... There, let's try that. Download. Sorry, you can't see this. Bear with. Oh. Robbie. Sam is coming down for the hill climb. So you have, to, you have to make sure you're at the hill climb on Sunday the 19th. And um, come down for a drink or a bit of cake or something. It'd be nice to see you. I'm sure everyone would love to see you. Now you're... Now you're part of the uh, furniture. Now, now you're part of the KM commu, com universe. Or I'm part of the... Rob's universe, whichever way you want to go. <laughs> Only just doing that quickly because I might not. I don't think I'm going to use that. No, they yeah. Sorry, Rob. I use these ones look better because they're a bit faker in a way. So um... just going to see what it looks like. Send it back if we go under that. Right? Do we want to go? Um, just bring a mug. I've been waiting for two years. Haven't you got a mug, Sam? Did you? Because probably going to ruin. A... But we we sent you some stuff. Did you get any stuff for Christmas? Have you got a little comedy? Cool, Nat Stevens. I 
think I'm liking it. Got a feeling we sent some stuff out to you. I think I might be wrong. I might be wrong, but um, Nat dealt with it with Hannah, and we had to send it to Hannah's mums. Had to send it to Hannah's mum or someone's mums or something. Sorry if Hannah's mum's dead. Um, no, she's not because it was her birthday the other day. Um, we had to send it to Hannah's mum's parents because something and something and something. I did think it was a bit funny. Not that you did say, didn't say thank you, but I did think like it does ring, starting to ring a bell now. And that saying, has Sam ever worn it or something? I was like, no, I don't think so. Maybe it didn't fit him. Anyway, we'll we'll catch up on that. We'll catch up in that um, <laughs> shortly, Sam. I'll find out from that. And uh, less Hannah, I don't know. Whatever, because um, obviously the shop's not live. So I remember saying we'll sort out cash and stuff. But later on, we'll just get it sent out. This is what's um, I'm thinking. Adjust filter. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. So I just want to pop, even though again it's taken out all of that stuff I did before. I still think that it's worth it just to get. Can I go and edit that effect? Oh no, I've come off of it. Oh, this is the annoying thing. Yeah, anyhow, back to the pick. Yeah, we, we all saw that. It does ring a bell, so I'll, Nat will call me in a minute. That's the annoying thing. You can't go and re-edit that, that effect. So now I just have to put a new one on. And then go into adjust, brightness. Whoa, that delayed for me. Right, it's a bit, um, yeah, no, this is, it's working. It looks very clean, formal though, and that's the aim versus the virus style. Yeah, this is, this isn't like, um, I'd rather people could sort of click on this and it's uh, it's just a nice thumbnail. People will know what, what he's doing there because they, I mean, these are hopefully, uh, Rob's got one like that popped off all right for a couple of thousand views with like papers and stuff. These aren't, this isn't a thumbnail to try and attract um, like new eyes, like technically anyone on those those shorts or the com hunt don't have to be related to cycling. They could watch it. Whereas this, you're only going to watch this video if you're in the industry and you and you know this. So I think if we look at then a um, little tip I normally do sometimes, I do it on my, <clears throat> I do it on my, oh, for So this is who we're going to be up against. This is what we're going to be up against. So um, control shift four to take a screen grab. And I like to take a little bit of YouTube as well. And what I do is just download that one. Download that one. Just so it's, I could all keep it in one. I could all like group it together but it's going to get a bit complicated go into a new file not paste that see that's what happens go to downloads no go to upload media get the screenshot bump it in there upload media Downloads. This is the other thing with Canva. Ooh. 
we've blown out we've blown out the stuff in there so i'll tweak that So we go and do do that sometimes. Uh, there is software you can do. You can go and sort of see that. So obviously, I don't do this all the time. Sometimes on, on the main channel, I'll go and just double check that I'm happy with it. Just make sure my eye would go to it, and I think it would out of those four. So hopefully, Robbie likes this one. Uh, I will just tweak that now in the... You can see here where we've got a bit more detail. So I've just blown out what that little tray, catching tray is, probably by too much too much brightness, whacked up the thing, and then obviously taking the shadows down and up them a little bit. So that's a little bit more realistic. Uh, I'm happy with that. I'm going to download that now, a fresh, a new one. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. No, page three. Looking around the webcam, hit download. So it should start coming down here now. Tech, it's the one from earlier. Continue. I didn't see it hasn't downloaded there. So then again, I assume it's the top one, isn't it? No. <laughs> assume it's the bottom one. So that's that one. And what I'm going to do is just go to uh, Google Images. whack that in there just going to put a bit of pop on it just you know so you can see here so this is just google images um the pop on here is just you can see how if i do it there it just brings obviously it makes robbie's hand a little bit more but you can see it just it's just that gives it that little i probably won't go too much because you can see what happens to the brother logo and the tip so i'll probably just sort of go something like there just go in here. I'm going to pop the exposure up and take the shadows down a tad. Just add a slight vignette. Again, nothing too drastic, not, not like the uh, Instagram vignettes. We just want a smidge. If I, if, I, if I select it, we just want a smidge there just to help the eye come in. Um, and then we've got top, re you read read books, top to left, left, top left. So straight away we're there. But you're going to go to tips. You're going to know what it is. You're going to see the brother thing. You're going to see the brother logo. You're going to see some some sewing threads. You're going to know it's tips about the machine, even though we haven't got the machine really in shot apart from this middle bit. Um, so now I'm going to, I always save a copy usually. I'm going to download. And then I'm going to go to Robbie's video and upload a thumbnail. Hit save. So again, um, make this look nice. Roll embroidery machine. Tips on uh, cleaning tip. Clean, I'll, I'll put something in here, Rob. You just go and uh, sort out cleaning, oiling. And I'll just put threading. I don't know what you've talked about. Threading tips. Then obviously just go, what? Well, I mean, make sure that's the right one. P670. And I, I mean, with a six needle machine, again, it's that kind of thing where, like, it might just get picked up on the. I'm not, I'm not, like, saying you should go and do this for every video or something, but it gets some good words in there. And what I'd do there is probably just go, um, find out, read more of what brother have to say about the machine or something like that. Um, it's a good way to get some words in there. And again, you could put something like that in there as well. Um, In-depth features. If it's something to do with what you're talking about, you could go and get the bit there. 
and uh, yeah that's um that's that's how they put the title in so what i do is do that so just so you've got any of you yeah so it just looks so it looks neat um Again, you want to sort of break down into some in some playlists, so you could have a playlist about your brother embroidery machine. So you could just go new playlist and anything videos related to that. Even if you've got double the stuff, you could like yeah, you can have multiple videos in in, in sorry, you can have videos in multiple uh, playlists. Uh, so this is um, this is vidIQ, which you might have seen on the channel. It gives you just some tips you can put in some keywords so you can start here um so you can just add those in i guess the edv is maybe like a bolt on that you put on the machine um so again multi-needle just just that kind of stuff they'll go into there um, I've got Tube Buddy as well, which gives you another layer of that kind of stuff. Uh, as, as I said before, um, tags are irrelevant pretty much now. They, YouTube have come out and said, don't focus on them. They're, they're bottom of the list. They're not really that helpful. But what it means is I can track of how well this video is doing by the phrase. Um, so we can see there if it's working well. Um, and like with Robbie, with other stuff, we now know from obviously not just because the a video is popping off what like with my barna glasses video which again practice what you preach um mate i'm tempted for some of this robbie's to go to put an eyelash in my eye now i'm tempted on some of your stuff now is to change it to education um i'm still i'm in an hiring um Let's just do the end screen. He's done the end screen. Lovely job, mate. That's good. Um, again, what I'd do there, once you've got a playlist with a few of these videos in that's related to that to that thing, if, if the hat's done on this, I don't know. If the hat's done on this machine, uh, I assume it is because you've got that that round thing on there. Um, include other other videos which are in, this, in the playlist. Get them into a playlist. Playlists, because videos just keep playing on a playlist. So if you can get them into a playlist, that is the the ideal video is good but playlist is better um and then cards you, you've put one here what's that one cap embroidery so brilliant i guess you've talked about cap embroidery bang uh we'll put another one in here reviews and demos um videos Again, if they're into this kind of stuff, they're going to want to know about Peggy's things. Again, just chuck them in there. Keep them flowing around your content. Um, and uh, more about, you know, and then where it says welcome to making teas. Um, taste of the channel. Just something like that. So they you know, know what it's related to. It's going to your channel trailer. Bang. And um, I haven't got the headphones in the microphone, so I can't hear. Right, mate. Hey, come back next. All right, mate. What's that, Cockney? Da, 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 da. I put the card in for the cat. Yeah, I saw. I saw you put the card in for the cat. It's really good. You're doing really well, Robbie. <laughs> you do. You are listening to me. It's amazing. Um, I need to work on my Cockney accent. Oh, I tell you what. Let's put. So there we were. Obviously, that's in there. I'll just put this at the bottom. What I'll do, Rob, is we'll put like a couple of hashtags in this one. Put some hashtags in. We'll, cook, we'll have one. Um, we'll just have one called Brother. Copy. Should we copy the? Should we copy that? code in and then we'll just put another one in there in broader machine i don't know if it's going to work but you know this is what other people aren't doing um this is a bit worrying rob what's going on here 
has it's not HD. Are you exporting out of are you exporting out of iMovie to YouTube on the button and not not exporting as a video then uploading? Let me know. Should be. Mm. It's it's weird, isn't it? That's why I've just put it live on the chat. I mean, I mean, it looks bloody good considering it's seven twenty. <laughs> see what uh oh no that wasn't you that was adam what adam did the other day he went and copied his text from his his video pasted it in his next description if you're watching this adam and then it, and then you can see here it wouldn't have done the full thing it goes dot 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 because that's a live link but it doesn't show the whole link so that's one thing to to think about there rob um Right. Well, uh, and then here I can then go right. Where are we? Where are we appearing for brother? So if we go to then brother here, it's a new video. Sometimes they do pop up quite quite quickly, and you can see there it's fourth. If you are watching that again, it might not stay there. It might slip down. Might improve, um, but it means I can then just have a quick track about what's happening. Um, and obviously, this is related to my channel, so not Rob's. Um, Cool, we could add chapters, but we're not going to worry about that. What else? Uh, oh, oh, most importantly, Rob. Oh, no. 25 subscribers. Nice one. I'll just give it a quick like. You know, ideally, I'd want to click off this now. Uh, I want to, I would let that play, <laughs> even if it's a thing. But uh, let's just do this for Robbie. Making teas. I'm going to go have a coffee or make a tea in a minute. You've got some old messages to get back to from Pierre Alain. That's before you probably knew who Pierre Alain was and I sort of mentioned in the video. But even just go back and comment on those, get rid of them out of your list and go to customization tab on your studio. And we'll go to this one. This is the featured video for returning subscribers. So this is the video that will show at the top of your page for returning subscribers. We'll change that to that one and uh, good to go. Leave that on as your as your um, intro for people that aren't subscribed, that's the one they'll see. And we hit publish. And uh, yeah, we've got your making teas. Hopefully that's not, that's just a little bug there, I think. We might we might tweak yeah obviously we've got the we got the links which appear up on your your banner we'll probably tweak these because I think this probably cause more confusion than than it's good um, because we could go to you could go to TikTok now so uh, let's let's do that um, and a little hack here so if we go to whilst I've got all five of you still listening to me I can pass on some knowledge bombs to Rob. <laughs> Uh, what do I want to do? I want to do a do that. I want to copy that. I want to open that or oh, copy. Control Shift New. Uh, sorry, Control Shift New on a Mac. Uh, Command Shift New. Control Shift New on a PC, and it will uh, show you what your channel looks like when no one's subscribed and they and they sort of enter the thing. So again, a few more things there. We've got Rob and Scott try, so it's just a bit of fun there. Um, you can see here then, so most importantly, if someone we want, we want 
people to hit the subscribe button. It's the most important thing. Um, we could put a bit more info here. So we could put like a picture of Rob now. We can do that. That was just whilst we did the logo originally, the rebrand just to get something up there quickly. Um, and we can do a few little, put put the real th the threads there that was just cut out, maybe a picture of a couple of caps that he's done. Um, but yeah, so straight away, most important thing we want people to do is to subscribe here. Obviously, we don't want to push them off to Facebook. You obviously have different different reasons for including stuff up there. But if the whole goal is to grow this YouTube channel, this is going off to your business um, thing. And again, it's all just old stuff because this is what the channel used to be called. Now I'm going off to Southwest Communicate. And I think, well, no, is this a dodgy link? Like what? This isn't Robbie. This isn't making teas. Um, so we will go back here. Um, we'll go to TikTok. Teas. What's your making? What's your thing on making teas then? Making teas UK. Making underscore teas. Take that rubbish off the top of there, and grab that. We will then go to your thing. So we'll scrap these. All right, Rob. If you had making teas, one different, but um. Talk, put that on there again only because the content's going to be similar. Um, otherwise, than that yeah, you, know, you want to grow, you do want to grow this because if a couple of your shorts pop off and people say, oh, I like this, I'm going to go to your TikTok and vice versa. But what we will do here is put we'll put subscribe. I don't know if the subscribe will come up and we will add your, your special link, which again is a good hack, which I probably don't do enough. Is this confirmation link? Uh, so if you if you link people, if you add this at the end, question mark sub confirmation, uh, I'm subscribed. So I don't know if this is going to work. No, but let's see if it will work on this one. Straight away to subscribe. So instead of going to the channel, it asks you to subscribe. You're going to tap subscribe. I'm not logged in because it's on an incognito window. Um, so that is a great little hack is link people to that. Chuck it in your comments, chuck it in your description. So um, we'll use that there. And we will have, um, what I want to do is drag that one to the top one. So again, you've just got another, if they miss the subscribe button. So if we go on to back to here. If they, you know, you can't miss it. It's like, it's that we go to videos, we go to there. It's just up there. You've got a nice little cool TikTok logo now and you've got subscribe. So it's just another tick in the box just to go. Subscribe, people, subscribe. Uh, so that's a nice little hack. Again, I probably don't practice what I preach on all of my channels there. Very different reasons across all of my channels uh, to do it. And I probably don't even have that on this channel that you're watching now. Um, mainly because I've got six channels and I, I only sleep three hours as it is, but I'm happy to to pass on these little bits of knowledge and hopefully you've all learned something today. Uh, because I have, I've learned there's some new features in Canva, which I was very ex excited about. And I'm gonna put this video live. Now, should I do it now? I was just winding up for a finish there. I probably want to go and write some more text. So I'm just going to confirm tech that helped me go viral, tech to help you go viral. So I kind of I've kind of duplicated the you know, which I don't suggest you do. Um yeah, go get a brew. I will, yeah. I'm gonna think I'm gonna take a brew, I'm gonna think about the title on this one. Um and so I'm not replicating it too much. And this one will be live shortly. So please do come back to this channel, watch this video. Once this once this live stream's processed, you can watch Robbie's video up there that I've just done the thumbnail, and you can watch this vid tech video that you are you're about to watch. So thank you, and we'll see you again. Please drop the link. Tr please drop the live stream a link. Thank you to Pierre Alain for giving me that little tip for the webcam. The lights died down us. It's a lot better anyway. Um, also, what I've been thinking about just before I go, one.